pressing issues faced by commuters. As the clock strikes 6 a.m. on a bustling Monday morning in Accra, its inhabitants are already awake gearing up for the day's challenges. At the Ofanko barrier bus stop on the Kumasi Accra route, a lengthy queue awaits the ubiquitous trotro for the daily commute to work. <laughs> Passengers and bus conductor engage in a heated discussion over boarding issues. We spoke to a regular commuter who navigates this route daily for her trading activities in a cross central business district. She says that this is a daily ordeal for everyone on this route. Enduring commuting stress has become a routine, with some passengers expressing their frustration to City News, emphasizing the need for authorities to enhance the country's transport system. So I'm sorry, if you in them, no one to me and before five o'clock, and I can also lie in Ubedim. Line of Sudimo, Amoba, Saka, 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 and two and three years, and I saw San Facosi Circle. Oh, Bawasa for a numerous year, Bassa, and you may cry the Bobo. Obey me free up at Temo Abia five o'clock. Why be do her neck of eight o'clock? Because can I ban one year to five five no ma? Obega I said ten city, and I say, Chow Far Master may be for me road, no see one quaint channel, and San Wit me a day, what but ten city. And I said, train bad, train the war, not a boy, because maybe better than first one, not train and they do quite dramatic. That's our line, no, we need being here. Because we did not train no one, bus stop, train to do a fire in you now. And to train the baby, one of buses, and I a little bus, no, they go a crime, say, two pairs, they say. But I could pay, and two quarter machine, sir. Who are better, Aris? No bed breasts, sir, and son, when you can't know so bad. When you have one day, crowns are winning men for. I want them for fruit, fair window, mukram, pona. At least no sebia or money drivers for ne beka sa and he sa by any drivers for no so beka sa dia and so be timiama eh said ye ye bre or cow ye strike or cow when no beba lowest a my But has this perpetual struggle always been the norm? Transport expert Dr. Bernard Abeku Arthur reflects on Ghana's bygone days of glory in the public transport sector. The omnibus services literally whizzled out. City Express came, literally went off. GPRTU had taken over. We had the Metro Mass Transport Services, which was deepened again by Kufo's government, and then the uh, facilitated the process for the Ayalolo services. The public transport system, we had a public transport system. The revolution in 81 changed the dynamics. GPRTU took over. And the mostly, I think most chaos that we see is as a result of that period, the shift. We visit the Roxy Cinema Ayalolo bus stop in Accra at 6.30 p.m. during the evening rush hour, where the situation worsens. Commuters claim standing for over three hours without finding transport home is not uncommon. Moving to an unofficial bus stop at the Kwame Nkrumah Interchange, we witnessed double the number of commuters compared to Roxy Cinema. Some passengers accused drivers of unfairly charging double the approved prices, a concerning issue they raise. Uh, when you are coming from home, they take the normal fare. Like, let me say, from Amasaman to Circle, it's 6 cities. So, yeah, 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 see like this. So, it's, it's Amasaman, from Amasaman to Circle, it's 6, six cities. But when you close, they all charge 10 cities. So, you will see car, a car charging Amasaman streets. Meanwhile, it, 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 it has to uh, uh, charge 6, six cities for Amasaman. to be charging 10 cities for Amasaman. If you are working on, on a monthly salary, after doing your budget, maybe 
you you uh, you you see to be like okay going coming will take you like 12 cities but since when you close you have to pay 10 cities back home if sometimes you, you, you know you even get 10 cities own you have to take from uh, circle to achimota and achimota to uh, amasama Dr. Beguatha attributes the current transport chaos to a lack of regulation in the sector. Scheduling is very important for everybody because we plan our lives by time. You're going to work, you're going to meet a business partner, you're going to sell something, you're going to pick some goods, you're going, for hosp you're going to hospital, you're taking your children to school. Every institutional organization have time that they set out for people to meet. Time is of essence. Any city that does not have a properly organized public transport system, which includes scheduled services, that city becomes a chaotic city. Many commuters believe a viable solution lies in acquiring more buses to bolster a cross public transport system. Exploring the state of public transport at the Ayalolo bus terminal in Achimota, we find stationary buses. Authorities declined to comment on the situation but at Metro Mass Transit Limited, George Crobby Asante, head of corporate communications, reveals that congestion and insufficient road infrastructure hamper bus operations within the city. He notes that running buses intra-city results in losses due to commuter preferences for trotros. You put a bus from Kaswa to Central Business City, and that bus is taking more than an hour to reach its final destination. You know, workers are in a rush to get to their working places. So no worker, and because these buses are long, they cannot just be maneuvered, just find their own way, just like Trotro and other transports um, can, can do. So that is why we were encouraging government to focus much on this rapid bus trans, uh, transit system. And then again, the load factor. You know, all over the world, intra-city buses are standing buses. You get it. Normally, it comes with limited number of seats, but these are standing buses. But in our part of the world, because <laughs> Pasinia has so many alternatives, they do not even have the patience to even wait, more or less, stand in a bus. To address operational costs, Metro Mass is considering the introduction of electric buses as a short term solution. At the end of the day, if you are running a, a, a transport system where your entire revenue, 70% of your revenue or more, has to even go to fuel, that in itself will mean that you cannot even sustain the operation or the business. You understand? So I think as a country, we need to also explore more of other alternatives like the electric bus. That is an area metro bus we are looking at going into the future. We are thinking of doing more of electric buses where, I mean, Research has indicated that um, 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 it is cheaper compared with f using fuel, and then it is it's in terms of even maintenance cost that is relatively cheaper. The toll of a dysfunctional public transport system is severe, forcing individuals to spend unproductive hours in lengthy queues at bus terminals, impacting social, economic, and health aspects. The government stands to lose a lot in three areas, image or pe pe people's perception about how they organize their movements. People going to hospitals will go public transport or maybe in their own cars. Why will people go to hospitals for health? So if you don't organize it well and people have difficulty in accessing health, it doesn't give a good image. Schools, people go in public transport. Markets, stores, uh, events, games, it's all public transport. So if government does not organize well, the cost is that people may use public transport as a way of measuring its performance and thereby affect it uh, when it comes to maybe changing them or voting for them. Despite numerous government initiatives aimed at improving Ghana's transportation, the lack of proper regulation and timely system revamping persists. Over 70% of Accra's residents relying on public transport face ongoing inconveniences. Stakeholders urge the government to take decisive action 
to enhance access to public transport services in Accra. They are calling on the government to put in place measures to ensure that Ghana has a working transport system. Reporting for City News, my name is Ajua Tenkrama Domina.